Hey friend, this is Nikhil here. Welcome to my channel Fun Book. Today I will guide you through the installation process of Palo Alto firewall on VM VMware Workstation. For installing the Palo Alto, you need to download the image file from TechNet4 website. I already had downloaded the file. Let me show you on my desktop. So here is the file I have downloaded and I have downloaded this file from technet24.ir After downloading the file just launch your VMware workstation installed on your computer Click on the option file Select the option open Select the image file from here, click on open. Once you will click on open, you will get the option to change the virtual machine name to Palo Alto or whatever name you want. Make sure not to install the Palo Alto in C drive. Make a special folder with name Palo Alto in any other drive. Select that folder and click on import. Let the file to import. Once the file will import it, power on the virtual machine. Now the importing is done by the VMware workstation. You have you just have to click on power on this virtual machine. Just click here and let the virtual machine to boot the Palo Alto firewall. It will take some time as the firewall software is of the size of 1.8 GB. you are on the login terminal of the firewall username will be admin and password will be admin too <coughs> for the for the configuration, you need to change the terminal access from privilege to configure mode. Right now, you are in the privilege mode. To change the terminal from privilege to configure mode, you just have to type configure here. Now you are in the configuration mode of the Palo Alto firewall. Here you have to assign the IP address so that you can check the UI access of the firewall on the browser. 
to assign the IP address so that you can take the UI access of the firewall on browser, assign whatever IP and subnet mask you want. But for proper co communication and configuration, so that your firewall will communicate to internet, you need to assign the IP address in the range of your router LAN IP. My router LAN IP range is from 192.168.0.1 0.254 so I can give any IP in between that make sure it will not conflict with any device IP in your network so to configure the IP address you need to follow and type the command on the terminal to configure the IP address you need to type set device config system IP address and the IP address if whatever you want to give and giving the device IP in the range of my router LAN IP so that I can establish the communication of firewall from internet Then after assign the subnet mask or you can say net mask. The net mask will also be same as the subnet mask of your router LAN IP. Then after assign the default gateway, default gateway will be the LAN IP of your router. Then after assign the DNS, for assigning the DNS you have to type DNS setting then server then primary and then keep the default DNS IP of Google 8.8.8 then hit enter now all the setting has been successfully assigned to the Palo Alto firewall make sure to save this configuration to save this configuration you need to type commit Now the configuration is successfully saved on the firewall. Open your browser, type the IP address of your firewall. Make sure that your firewall will open on HTTPS. If you will try to open the firewall IP on HTTP you will get an error so you must open the firewall IP on HTTPS after that just click on advance and then click on proceed Keep the username as admin and the password same as admin. Click on login button. Now you are on the dashboard of Palo Alto Firewall.
change the administrative password and configure the firewall according to your network requirement. To change the administrative password, you need to click on device, click on the administrator, click on the admin, enter your old password, enter your new password, confirm the new password and click on OK. Once you will click on OK, your password will change. After changing the password, configure your firewall according to your network requirement. That's all. Thank you. If you like this video, please do like, subscribe, comment, and click the bell icon for latest update on my upcoming videos.